Why peach? Sounds like a joke, but apparently it's real. In fact, it was so highly considered by Nintendo that a drawing and model were made to potentially appear in Mario Power Tennis for the GameCube. The character could use a little tweaking to be a little more wah, if that makes sense, but a mischievous princess planning schemes with her two dads, Wario and Waluigi, sounds like a great character to me. Her official reason for rejection is apparently due to her similarity with some anime character, but I think it more has to do with Nintendo's tendency to be a little safe when it comes to bringing in new characters. Judging by the positive reaction to Wa Peach as a character, it seems that Nintendo made the wrong choice here, and considering how much love Waluigi gets, it seems that the fans would have given similar attention, if not more attention, to the Peach version. But would this character have actually fit into the Mario roster, or would she have stuck out like a poison mushroom? Come visit me in an alternate reality where Nintendo approved Proved Wa Peach, and let's see where she stands in the Mushroom Kingdom. So first, let's examine where Wa Peach would have fit into the game in relation to the other major female characters in Mario. In Mario Power Tennis, the only playable female characters were Peach and Daisy. In other games around the same time, some playable female characters were Toadette and Birdo. Though the Birdo thing is, uh... Let's say inconclusive. So if Wa Peach were introduced in Mario Power Tennis, she would have been a third princess character, but would have been much more distinct. In fact, she is arguably far more different from Peach and Daisy than Peach and Daisy are from each other. Sure, Daisy has kind of this attitude to her, but design and look-wise, they really don't seem that different, and are almost no more than a palette swap in some ways. Wa Peach is not only someone who has more of an edgy vibe, but she also is a bit younger looking, and smaller than the other princesses. Overall, I think at this time she would have filled a niche that was just never filled by any other characters, as every other female character really is just a girly girl. Moving on, where would Wa Peach have stood in the franchise when Rosalina started to be added to games? Again, I think Wa Peach is even more unique than Rosalina. While Rosalina has this space mother of star people thing going on, she still is visually quite similar to Peach and Daisy, and looks basically just like a third palette swap. If Rosalina wasn't included in a game, a lot of people would probably just pick Peach or Daisy and just be fine. But I think Wa Peach would have had a more distinct fan base. Now we're starting to see some use of Pauline in spin-off games since her appearance in Mario Odyssey. She's only appeared as a playable character in Mario Golf Super Rush and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, so her impact on the Mario series is still being determined. I don't think her vibe wouldn't conflict with Wa Peach either, as she is more of a sophisticated businesswoman type, while Wa Peach is a rebellious type. Are you enjoying the game cubicle? Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Between the few other female characters in the Mario series, Wa Peach would have had a distinct personality to just about all of them. She would actually be the only female character that's a villain besides Wendy Koopa. I mean, think about it. Your only other female villain representation is Wendy Koopa, who, mind you, has six brothers. Since when has villainy been a men's club? Considering how male-centered video games have been marketed as, you would think Nintendo would try to capture more of, you know, the other half of the population? Maybe with games like Princess Peach Showtime, they actually are going in this direction. And maybe Wa Peach's reveal in this way is to test the reactions of the fans to see if they'd want this character in future titles. It's hard to say where this character would have been had she been introduced in Mario Power Tennis. Would she have gone all the way up to playable in the main series status like Daisy or Rosalina? Considering the blatant Wario and Waluigi erasure in the Mario games, I'm gonna assume probably not. Could she have been considered to possibly appear in the upcoming Princess Peach Showtime? Again, probably not. What she could have been was another interesting addition to the roster for people with a certain personality type. The importance of the different characters in games like Mario Party and Mario Kart are because different people like to play as characters that reflect their own personality. What kind of Mario character you choose says a lot about you. If you play as Wario, you're probably funny and boisterous. If you play as Yoshi, you're probably chill and innocent. If you play as Mario, you're probably the dad who got roped into playing this. I think that's a big reason why Funky Kong is such an in-demand character. It's because his surfer dude chill attitude is not reflected in any other character. Even though Diddy Kong appears far more in the 
Donkey Kong series, people who play as Diddy Kong would probably be just as satisfied with a different small character like Toad or Koopa Troopa. But there's no substitute for Funky Kong, and I don't think there's a substitute for something like Wa Peach either, because Wa Peach fills out a personality type that doesn't actually exist in any Mario character. How come the boys get to play as villains like Bowser or Wario, but girls don't really get any villain options? It's kind of not fair if you think about it. I think that Nintendo may start to slowly introduce this character into the Mario spin-off series, breaking her in starting with the next Mario Kart and slowly bringing her into games with smaller rosters and eventually Nintendo will stop being so anti-wa that we'll get Wario, Waluigi, and Wa Peach as antagonists in a mainline Mario game. In this new era of Nintendo where the company seems to be more content with taking creative risks, I am hoping to see a resurgence of this old idea brought back to the surface. Let's hope to see Wa Peach in the next Mario Kart. And those are my thoughts. Do you want to see Wa Peach in a future game? Do you like the design? Do you think it needs more Wa? Let me know in the comments below. See you next time.